Next news, I hope another godless atheist is around for because um, he and I spoke about this this week. Next news is out of Australia, religious discrimination bill and what Australians, what will Australians be allowed to say and do if it passes? So a second draft has been written up about this religious discrimination bill um, in Australia. And as I was telling another godly atheist, uh, a lot of these religious discrimination bills have been passed in the United States, um, and they are terrible. They allow people to say, you know, hey, I don't want to bake a cake for you because you're gay, and it's, you know, against my religion um, to associate with you. But a lot of people are wondering if this does pass in Australia, because Australia has been so awesome about, uh, you know, taking down priests in the Catholic Church. Um, and anyone who's been abusing children from churches, Australia has been like, top notch about it and now all of a sudden this bill's here so a lot of people are wondering what will this allow people to do so i'd like to take a moment here and kind of read to you guys what people um will actually be able to do a catholic doctor will be able to refuse to provide contraception to all patients or prescribe hormone treatment for gender transition um, a catholic nurse can refuse to participate in abortion procedures or provide the morning after pill to a woman uh, admitted to the hospital after a sexual assault a pharmacist can refuse to provide a pill to women for contraceptive use or hormone treatment. A psychiatrist could say to a woman with depression that uh, she should be looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. Under the proposed laws, the psychiatrist could challenge their deregistration as religious discrimination, uh, while a patient could have her disability discrimination complaint refused. Um a lot of other people are wondering where else this is going to come, not just from the medical field. A student with a disability may be told by a teacher that their disability is a trial imposed by God. A person of minority faith may be told by a retail assistant from another religion that they are a heathen destined for eternal damnation. A single mother who, when dropping off her child at daycare, may be told by a worker that she is sinful for denying her child a father. Um, and there was another one about... A woman may be told by her manager outside of work that women should submit to their husbands or that women should not be employed outside of their home. Wait. So this religious discrimination bill, guys, is huge. Um, this isn't just about what people can say to people. It's about what people can say to your kids when you're not around, well, right? What you mean, can say. So, so let, let's just be clear. It's not about what they can't say because they could always say it. But what we're saying is that they can't lose their job for saying those things. Is that what is? Is this what this bill is saying? Not only can they not lose their, lose their jobs, but they can't. Uh, they can't be sued oh, or sued. anything else. They're, they'll so, be completely allowed to say so, these things so, and do these like doctors and. So the it, so the bill doesn't make like they were always allowed to say it, but like the, what the bill does is that if you fire somebody because of saying something like that, then that's considered religious discrimination. So it's protecting people that say stuff like this or do stuff like this. Absolutely. Right. So, right. Um, you know, if, if you're if a teacher, you t take your kid to school and a teacher wants to tell your child, um, you know, you're going to hell because you have two mommies. Mm -hmm. OK, they're, al they're allowed to do that to your kid. The, the, there is one part of the law that specifically um, lets everybody know that um, that the the only exemption to this is, is, is if somebody is purposefully trying to harass or you know mm. uh use this to inspire violence or something, so, something like that so, so they, they this, can't do that is this bill passed already or is it about to get passed no. okay so the what are the passed and they're on their second leg of it right now what are second the chances what are the chances of this bill being passed do we know and that's why i was really wishing another god yeah. atheists were here uh, yeah he was just here he's he's looking just... good that it will pass it's looking good that it will pass. Damn. Guys, if you're from Australia, let us know in the comment section. What do you think? Is this going to pass or not? This is it's so interesting to me that every time you see like an anti-religious discrimination bill, the more accurate name for it would be a pro-religious privilege bill. This is pro a pro. This is not an anti-religious discrimination bill. This is a pro-religious privilege bill. An anti-discrimination would be like, hey, if somebody is religious, don't beat them up if they want to say promote the religion don't stop them don't force them to you know you can't shut them down like oh like these are this would be anti-discrimination if you're saying that people can get away with saying things that are because of their religion 
that other people without their religion wouldn't be able to get away with, then this is not anti-discrimination. This is privilege. This is privilege. This is special rights for people because of their sky daddies. That's all it is. Like, hey, I want to say these na nasty things to people on, or deny them service um, without losing my job. Or like, well, you can't do that. Well, I have an imaginary sky daddy friend somewhere that says I can. Like, oh, okay, then you can. That's this. All <laughs> this is. A, this is all that it is. Like, I don't understand. We're we're talking about Australia. This is supposed to be a first world country, and we're still talking about religious. Pr like, how is this happening? I thought I thought Australia was moving in the wrong di right direction. How? What's happening? Like, so, somebody. You and I both. It's unreal. Right. Um. I thought, like, didn't they have an atheist prime minister or something? How is it? Like, I thought people here were like. I know that New Zealand has an atheist prime minister. I think Australia used to have one. Guys, somebody tell us. <laughs> I think I think Australia has a conservative prime minister. Well, now what? I don't know. Somebody, somebody tell us what's happening in Australia. Is there a lot of support for this, or is this a whole bunch of politicians that managed to pass a bill without the will of the people? Like somebody educate us on this topic. Let me see what the top comments is actually. Uh, Jeremy is the, the top comment. He's saying, and religion continue to contribute uh, to the retaliate ret retardation of human growth. Uh, at least it's. Uh, hot though oh, okay i don't know what you're talking about Dick, uh, dickie is saying this is outrageous how are the bills passed in australia don't let them pass australians yeah australians please some something do something about this uh so i mean uh wiggly party in a live chat is from australia mm -hmm. it is saying the prime minister is a christian uh it's a right-wing government and like they're like retaliating against bills which they were against you initially and stuff but they used to have an atheist prime minister i think they used to before i, thought, I don't know if this is true uh but um is okay so they have a right-wing christian prime minister um is is there a lot of christian a lot of people that vote in australia because of their christianity we need to look into that um okay so it's interesting because uh you know, we lost Godless Atheist, even he was saying, what, are we covering this news or not? And as soon as we start covering yeah. this news... Before he... before, before going though, he's. I think he mentioned in the live chat that only about 51% of Australians are Christians. Oh. Okay, that's, that's good, I guess. Yeah. So how is this happening then? Because even the half of the Christians, even the 51%, I'm, I don't think all of them support bills like this. Like, not all Christians are completely, you know, re religious wackos. So, so how is this passing? So, somebody tell us. I hope this doesn't pass. Let's hope, like, we have news next time that, hey, the bill didn't pass. So, yeah. Uh, all right, let's... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.